Hello, Clark. Can't say I love what you've done with the place. Wax. Still say it the same way. Astonishment mixed with a hint of dread, yet with a hopeful finish. You're alive. It seems my father had a, a change of heart. And I got a second chance at life. Where's Tess? What have you done with her? She's fine. I wouldn't worry so much about my dear little sister. You know, I used to think it was our families that made us who we are. Then I hoped it was our friends. But if you look at history, the great men and women of the world have always been defined by their enemies. You have a second chance. You can change all that. But that's the thing about memories. You can't forget them. Like how you were always that one step ahead of me, Clark. No matter how meticulously I prepared, no matter how strategic I was, if only I'd known I never stood a chance. It wasn't a competition. Of course it wasn't. You were born to be the chosen one. You're simply better than us. And that always killed you. No. No, what killed me is that you didn't even want it. You fought it. You, you hid from it. I would have taken it and relished it, embraced it. My destiny wasn't yours to take. I get that now. Which is why I finally embraced my own. You and I, we will both be great men. Because of each other, we have a destiny together, Clark. Only on different sides. And I'll always be there to stop you. Always. Oh, I'm counting on it. Our story hasn't been written yet, Cal Al. And every villain is only as great as his hero. But you see, that all relies on you saving us from the coming apocalypse. You know about Darkseid? You really think I just read the cliff notes of the Veritas journals? They foretold of a chosen savior. The light that will inspire this world out of darkness. You are the light, Clark. Only you hold the power within you. I'm not so sure that Clark Kent can save the entire world on his own. He can. But we both know who can. Sorry I couldn't save you, Lex.